what's going on guys car chaser here all right so i just got in the bell today a box of 91 upper deck that i i purchased i actually purchased this out of a out of a facebook group um which is not something that i would typically ever do man i did it i've been chasing that jordan for so long for so many years um just showed up today. I've been really, really conflicted on whether or not I open this or I hold it. Um, I think I'm going to open it, man. I mean, there's just a lot that can be pulled out of here. You know, I know there's going to be the people that sit there and want to say, oh, it's junk wax, it's junk, junk wax. Well, yeah, I mean, it is junk wax, but there's some cards in here that especially if you can, if they're, if they're, if these cards are in good, good condition, you know, I, 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 w I wouldn't send them to PSA, but I'd probably send them to HGA. Um, especially if you pull the Jordan. I don't know. I don't know. Part There's a part of me that says, hold it. But then there's a part of me that says, let's open it, man, and, and see if you finally get one of your chase cards. Um... You guys all know, I'll show a picture here of the 91 Upper Deck Jordan. He wasn't playing, it wasn't a truly a baseball card for him. He was just taking batting practice, if I understand the story correctly. Um, and it got added in here as a short print. And there's interesting stories about it. I mean, some people say they open up a box and they pull two out. And then some people, you know, you open up a couple boxes and don't pull one out. So it's kind of a, well, it's a short print. It's hard to pull. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna think about it, um, and then if I if I do decide to open it, I'll I'll just continue this video and um, share it with you guys. All right, guys. Well, I've consulted a few people. Um, talked to a good friend of mine, George. Um, he's my business partner. I, we also I also do have a barbecue business on the side, um, catering and everything. But we make some h hilarious videos on our um, on our YouTube page. It's called Wild Boar Barbecue. Got to check that out. But I talked to him, just asked him the question, said, hey, give me your gut reaction, man. Open or, open or hold. And the first thing he said was open it. Open it and see what's up. So I'm going to open it, man. I've, I've wanted this card for so long. Um, you know, I bought it off this guy. He seemed really, really reputable. I talked to him for a long time before I did it. He sent me a ton of pictures. I mean, it's sealed. You can see the Upper Deck logo on the plastic. You know, it's it's starting to color. There's so there's some discoloration there, but um, it looks right. It feels right. It's really heavy, heavier than I remember. It's been a while since I bought a box of cards like this, but all right, guys, here we go. Let's open it. Now I have to. I'm not gonna have enough room on the screen here. I don't think to uh, look at that. That's pretty right there. Right, I'm gonna slide this kind of off screen, and I'm just gonna go. I'll just pull out a stack. Actually, I'm gonna set the box over here just to have enough room. You can also find that Nolan Ryan autograph in here, which would be really cool. I think what I might do, honestly, is if I get lucky enough to pull the Jordan, I may just stop right there. If I get, you know, if it's the last pack, then whatever. But if, if I if I get lucky enough and I pull the Jordan, I might just stop and keep some of these um, packs sealed. That's what I'll do. But it's going to be really cool to find that Nolan Ryan autograph, though. Yeah, these are, these are sealed. You know, you can tell when someone has opened them and then reheated it back up. You could really just kind of give that a little bit of a pull and tell. So I'm gonna this guy, man. He's I'm gonna give him a shout out in the group that I that I bought it in. But just, just a good dude. Put up with a lot of my crap, asking a million questions and requesting a million. You know, he sent me a video of the boxes, pictures, just stand up guy. All right, here's what the back look. This is a. John Russell, here's what the back looks like. 
And these things are notorious being flipped over upside down. They're a mess, but I'm just going to go through them pretty quickly. That's a cool Fernando Valenzuela. The, I, don't, I don't know what you'd call that, but um, cool card. I remember that card when it came out. Larry Sheets. Derek May. Jim Presley. I'm not going to flip all these over. Terry Pendleton. Bob Walsh, Dave Henderson, unless it's, you know, uh, a card worth flipping over. Here's a rookie, DJ Dozier. I have quite a few of these cards, actually, from when I open them. There's the, they put these holograms, Oakland A's. I just never had that, I just never had that card, um, the, the Michael Jordan. Never bought a box since back in 91, but I bought a lot of packs. So let's see if we look up. There's box or pack number one. There's pack number two. Scott Bales, Gary Carter, Andy Hawkins, Eric King, Robin Ventura, Barfield, Jeff Brantley, Mo Vaughn. Dave Smith, Phil Plantier, rookie card, The Cheaters, Trevor Wilson, Jeff Montgomery, and Jack Doherty. Come on. I gotta pull this Jordan, guys. I mean, seriously. I've got to pull this damn Jordan. And, I, and man, I'm gonna tell you, I mean, I know I'm going through them kind of fast, but they're, they're coming out in nice shape. Doesn't seem to be any, you know, there's no bends or corner issues so far with them. Um, Dave Martinez, King Caminetti, Nolan Ryan, it's a nice card. There's just a ton of that, kind of the dust from the from the pack. John Tudor, Steve Howard, Lenny Dykstra, Greg Harris, Charlie O'Brien, Lance Dickerson, Mark Williamson, The Collector's Choice. I kind of takes you back to look at that, another Cheaters. Tom Brown. It kind of just takes you back to you know, in 91, I was, I was 18 in 91, but it kind of takes you back to your youth opening these up. I don't even remember who the chase card was. I'm sure at that point, everybody was probably chasing that Nolan Ryan autograph. You know, the, the Griffey, I'm sure I was, uh, Wally Blackman, Don Slot, which I have a 91 upper deck Griffey. Hill... Bill Spires, Roy Smith, Sean Barry, this is one of their inserts, the Collector's Choice, Lenny Dykstra, Mets Hologram, All right, well, so far, this first stack is not uh, the best card so far is that Nolan Ryan. Oh, come on. There's a Kyle Ripken Jr. Hall of Famer. I mean, there, we've gone through several Hall of Famers, but um, more notable names. Here's the Barney Williams rookie card. It's nice. Got a couple of those, but it's always nice. And this, I mean, look at this. This is actually, you know, it's well centered, top to bottom, left to right. Doesn't look like there's any surface issues that you can just see kind of here taking a quick glance at it. Back looks good. Barney Williams rookie card, that's nice. 
We have a collector's choice. Who is this? Tim Wallach. Here's the the Braves hologram. Glenn Braggs and Carney Linksford. This is probably the first one I've seen. I don't know if you if you can see that on video. This has a dented corner. This corner right here is kind of dinged up a little bit, but that's really the first one with any issue. I'm horrible at holding wax. I have a blaster box and a hanger of 21 tops that I've had set over there for a while. And it's just kind of wears me out enough to open it. J. Bell, Lee Smith, Dave Parker, Joe Oliver, Parrot, Brian Barnes, Dave Smith, Collector's Choice, A's Hologram, Stephen Farr, The Baseball Heroes, um, Nolan Ryan. Those are cool. I'd love to talk to somebody at Upper Deck and just ask why they can't put these cards in order. And when I say in order, I mean just all facing the same way and the same direction. Why do they have to be upside down? It's crazy. Luis Rivera. Jody Reed, Brady Anderson, Checklist, Fred Lynn, Doug Drabeck, Steve Wilson, Tom Herr, Chuck Carr, Barry Bonds. You know, what, what, whatever your opinion of Barry Bonds is, yeah, I mean, he cheated. He took steroids. I just don't know if those steroids really help you had a 95-mile-an-hour fastball. It's against the God dang freaking Astros as consistently as he as he did I believe he should be in the Hall of Fame I also believe that Pete Rose should be in the Hall of Fame and if not then everybody associated with the Astros they should be stripped of the World Series and those guys should be banned um I mean you can't just kind of have the rules kind of apply to some people you know people got lost got fired lost of job that you know I don't know if the evidence really shows they had a whole lot to do with it um, but the players on the field did. They said they're sorry and they go on. Um, you know, I know people are going to say, well, you know, what Pete Rose did was worse. But maybe. Um, but is stealing signs like they were, I mean, stealing signs is part of the game. But the way they did it, you know, kind of went above and beyond what you typically see. Is that really any worse than, you know, taking a PED? It doesn't help you hit a fastball. You know, being being a stronger human being does not equal hand-eye coordination. So that's just my thought. Don Slot, Wally Blackman, Frank Pino, John James, Rob Deere, Howard, Greg Gagne, Gardner, Tim Wilson. The Save. I've never seen this card before. The Save Master. Bobby Figpin. Huh. I don't remember ever seeing that card. Tigers. Ken Daly. And the crime dog, Fred McGriff. All right, come on now. Give me that Jordan. Kim Caminetti. Dave Martinez, Hal Morris, Bill Duran, Bip, Billy Long, Jackson, Greg Colburn, Mike Fitzgerald, Alan Anderson. Let's see what we got here. Texas Rangers, Mark Gardner, Bobby Witt, Mel Hall. Come on. How cool to be also. All right, that's the first stack. First stack. Let's see what we pulled here just real quick. Collector's Choice, Barry Bonds, Baseball Heroes, Nolan Ryan, Bernie Williams rookie card, Cal Ripken Jr., and a Nolan Ryan base card. Definitely have not paid for the box. Um, how cool to be able to find the Nolan Ryan autograph. And I'm searching, I'm, I'm hunting for the Michael Jordan, but man, wouldn't that be cool?
Todd Zeal, John Tudor. This pack is looking familiar. Another Nolan Ryan. Joe Rick Sutcliffe, Ellis Burks. Another Save Master, Thick Pin. George Brett. Mike Gardner. In the National League. Chuck Malone. And another Lee Smith. Um, we're pulling some Nolan Ryans, just not the Nolan Ryan that you really hope you're going to pull out of here. But Greenwell, Steve Finley, Robin Yunt, Billy Wegman, Brand Holman, Rafael Palmero, Brett Saberhagen. That's crazy looking. Sure. Saberhagen, another Barry Bonds, Dave Wells, Oral Hershiser, Narcisco Alvera, rookie, never heard of him, American League, Jeff Russell, Kevin Appier. All right, come on now. So that, that Jordan card is, it's not on this list of 20 that I've talked about, but it's on my list. It's like on my top, I don't know, probably 30 list. So when this box came up for sale, I just, I figured, you know, how much fun would it be? I mean, you could go buy the card, right? Buy it in a low grade, buy it raw, whatever. But how fun would it be to, to pull it, to pack pull it? Um, so, Carlton Fisk, you know, I did, I... Purchase the card and or purchase the box and man we just gotta hope that we get we luck up here and pull it. A twins team hologram, Brian Barnes, Kenny Tartable, Tim Cruz, Collector's Choice, Greg Jeffries, man, that you wanna talk about a chase card. That Greg Jeffries rookie card. What was that, 88 or 89? Woo. Man. A lot of people lost a lot of money chasing that card. Joey Cora, Jack Clark, Cal Davis, and a checklist. <laughs> I mean, they lost a lot of money on Craig Jeffries. John Crook, Jerome Watson, Franco, BJ Scherhoff. Jamie Navarro, Tim Walsh, Mike Bianchi, Scott Erickson, another Bernie Williams rookie card. You know, I mean, who's going to argue the Bernie Williams rookie card other than I, ha I have Yankees hologram? I have several of them. But hey, here's what it is. Take it. Another Bill and Ryan baseball heroes. The one with the autograph on it. Not even sure what that card would go for. I mean, no one's collectible. You know, definitely it's collectible. All right, Jeff Hudson, Hector Villanueva, Hall of Famer Jack Morris, Edgar Diaz. Look at those sunglasses. Sweet. Tom Glavin, was that like a fourth year card? Mike Witt, Checklist, Scott Aldred, rookie card, Oakland A's, Jeff Russell, Kit Merker, and another baseball hero, Don Ryan. I'd be curious to hear from you guys. Has anyone ever pulled 
Chris Jordan short print. So did you do it in 91 when these came out or did, had you bought some packs or bought a box? It, I mean, honestly, when these came out, I don't even remember that card being talked about. Um, I really don't. Here's a star rookie checklist. And really, out of, you know, Jeff Conine, Bernie Williams is probably... Yeah, he's he's the definitely the best rookie on that checklist. Oh my god. Seriously. Alright. Last three packs of the second stack. I know I'm going through these kind of fast. I'm not reading off every single card. Mitch Williams, the freak. Um, this this video would be forever and very boring. There's another Phil Plantier rookie. Maurice Vaughn rookie. Another Brewers um, hologram. I guess <clears throat> I'm really up for one thing in here. So as I get down to the last two packs of the second row, I gotta make a decision. Do I John Oliver? Do I just open them up, or do I leave some of these packs sealed? Andre Dawson, Ruben Sierra. There's a top top prospect, Brent Main. Wally Jorner, good ball player. Kirby Puckett. Brett Saberhagen, Brett Saberhagen Collector's Choice. American League, Pete Smith. I don't know. I mean, if you pull the card, if you pull that Jordan, then you know the money was worth it and everything was worth it. But if you don't. These packs are obviously more valuable sealed. Ozzy Canseco, Jose Canseco's brother. I don't know if he's younger or older. David Justice. He was a beast. Ruben Sierra. Andre Dawson. Rico. I can't even pronounce his last name. Brogana, top prospect. You got here from my Mariners. Let's see, Harold Reynolds, Twins hologram, Sasser. Well. Come this far, let's do it. Eighteen packs to go. Mike Sosha, Dave Stewart, Hall of Famer, Jeff Bowser, Wes Gardner, Ellis Burks. Rick Sutcliffe, another top prospect, John Eriks, Harold Baines, that's cool, here's a Kyle Abbott, top, I remember him, Kyle Abbott, top prospect, Yankees, and another, we've already seen that. Uh, 79 back home baseball heroes, Nolan Ryan. I watched Nolan Ryan. I grew up in Texas, right outside of Dallas, and when he was with the Rangers, 
I've watched him take play the Mariners. I go watch whenever the Bears come to town, and he took a no hitter like into the fifth. And Griffey came up and just clobber. I mean, smashed a home run. And I was in kind of center right field, and the ball the ball was hit. And the guy didn't have a glove on. He sat in the stands, you know, probably drunk, drinking beer, whatever. Stuck his hand up. And he had to leave with the paramedics. Uh, I mean, his hand looked like he was wearing a first base since after that. It was crazy. Jay Buhner. But, you know, it's kind of cool to watch him, to watch Sean Ryan take a Tim Burke, Chuck Finley to take a no-hitter that deep into a game. Um, you know, he had already, he had just thrown one. Gary Scott, top prospect. He had already thrown a no-hitter that season. Mark Witten. So, you know, everybody thought, oh my gosh, we're going to watch him. We're going to watch him do this again. He didn't, oh yeah, this has the the Chipper Jones top prospect card, and that'd be nice to pull. Um, I got a few of his rookie cards, and I've had I've had the 91. I actually bought it off eBay and then subsequently sold it, but um, he, he's, a, he's on their top prospect ch checklist. Really, the... Todd Van Poppel. A lot of people lost a lot of money chasing Todd Van Poppel. He, he, Todd Van Poppel probably should send me a check. He should feel guilty for what he did. Um, I spent a lot of money on that guy. Yeah, Chipper Jones, that'd be cool. Pull that card again. I forgot all about that. National League. And nobody. Oh my gosh, Todd Van Poppel had a gold leaf card. That was crazy the amount of money back then that I spent on that. You know, I, I worked for my dad farming and ranching, and I would spend all of my money on cards. And Van Poppel was definitely one that everybody wanted. Come on, Jordan, where are you, man? Kiki Jones, top prospect card. Collector's Choice, Roberto Kelly, the American League, Kenny Rogers, and Leo Gomes, rookie card. Now, wouldn't that be something to pull? We've already got the um, Barney Williams rookie card twice. Wouldn't that be cool to pull that Jordan and the chipper? Andy Van Slyke, he was with the Mariners organization for a while, I believe, as a hitting coach maybe? I don't think he is anymore. A top prospect, but it's Wilfredo Cordero, Chris Gwynn, another collector's choice, Dave Parker, Twins Hologram, All right. Getting nervous, guys. I'll be honest with you, this is wearing me out a little bit. Chris Sabo. I mean, Chris Sabo made those glasses look cool. Tony Phillips. Tony Gwynn. Royce Clayton. Top prospect. Greg Olson. Yankees hologram. And another Nolan Ryan baseball heroes. As far as I know, those Nolan Ryan baseball heroes have no value. I think, I believe the autograph is on one of those baseball heroes, if I remember seeing the picture correctly. Jay Buhner. Old Mariner. Travis Fryman. Dale Murphy, man, that dude. Hall of Famer, obviously. Awesome. God dang, he was a good ball player. 
I remember, you know, obviously I spent a lot of time watching him play when he played for the Dodgers, or um, the Dodgers, the Braves. Steve Sachs, Kurt Miller, top prospect. That's an unfortunate pose. Frank White, Eric Hansen, Chuck Knobloch. Twins, Hologram. And John Smiley. All right, guys, come on. I need some luck. Hall of Famer Dave Stewart, Mike Sosha. Look at that, Joe Carter. It's a cool card. Dave Rigetti, Vince Coleman. I've uh, seen him a thousand times. Dan Plantier, Billy Ripken. The infamous. FF error card. Barry Jones for the Yankees. Tom Edens. And another Dolan Ryan baseball heroes. 1968 victory number one. Had this foil kind of paper that these are wrapped in. A lot of these little shavings all over. Tony Fernandez, Jamin, Lonnie Smith, Frank Thomas. I haven't seen him yet. It's a cool card. Is that? Yeah, 90. Yes, that's Frank Thomas rookie card. I believe so. I, did he get called up in nine? I can't remember. I have some of his, some of his other cards, some of his rookie cards. I just can't remember. Are they in ninety or ninety one? Julio Frankie, Dickie Thorne, top prospect, not the one we want. Greg Blosser, Gary Reedus. Let me guess. Let's see. They're going to be Yankees, American League, or the freaking Astros, National League. Damn, that's close. White Sox team card. Man, I cannot remember if that... I don't think that's his, considered his rookie. I don't know. I have... Is it? Yeah, I think, that, I think it is. Because the 91 score was is his rookie. Or the 90, I don't know. I can't remember. You can't keep everybody's rookie card near straight. Tim Raines. Corey Snyder. Pena. Robin Ventura. It's a cool looking card, cool uniform. Second year card. Marquise Grissom. Oh boy, look at this. Look at this asshole. I would have lo I would have lost my mind back in ninety one to pull this card. And there it is. Tito Martinez. There it is. That's a nice pull right there, guys. Chipper Jones. Prospect card. It it is in good shape. And that is in a that is really nice shape. Twins. I don't you know what though? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just looking at it, but it looks like it's like it's wider at the top than it is at the bottom. Maybe it's just the way that line is. I don't know. Nice. Hey, something, right? Checklist, Jim Gott, and then another Baseball Heroes, Ellen Ryan. All right, guys, last, last stack. It's good to pull that Chipper Jones, though. Um, You know, if you if you watch the market, you know, I used to have the market movers tool. I don't anymore, but um, they have an app, and there's obviously you can just do your own research. But chippers cards are on the way up, and rightfully so. I mean, 
he one of the best third basemen in the game. Gary Sheffield, third year card. Oh my god. I'm rich. Jose Uribe. I quit. Tom Clavin. The prospect checklist. Billy Ripken. Gary Scott, top prospect. Yankees. We are down to the last few packs. We have got absolutely half to hit this damn book if I can. John Olrood, he was a beast of a player too. Sammy, Slam and Sammy Sosa. What is that, his second year card, yeah. Greg Bailey, Kyle Abbott, top prospect. We've seen that card before. Eric Hansen, Frank White, John Eriks, top prospect. Okay, it's going to be Yankees, Twins, are a league. Man, called it National League. Tim Drummond, Doug Jones. Come on, Michael. Where are you? Sandy Alomar Jr. It's a nice card. Man, he was a great player. Frank Viola. Looks Jose. Oh. Huh. Well, look at the coalition there. Crazy. John Smoltz. I like all of his stuff. Tom Gordon. And Jeff Judden, top prospect. Lance Parrish. Luis Gonzalez. That's a Luis Gonzalez rookie card also. I have a stack of his rookie cards in a drawer up here. I need to verify. And the American League. Willie Frazier, Michael Cross, and Scott Bankhead. I bet his childhood was miserable without this thing. But maybe he's just a stud baseball player and he's popular, who knows. Daryl Boston, Jeffrey Leonard, Roberto Kelly. Oliver, here's Bankhead again, Tom Herr, Terry Lee, Pat Combs, Scott Anderson, the top prospect, Reggie Sanders. Reggie Sanders had a pretty decent career, didn't he? And the twins. Dave Schmidt. The Gambler, Kenny Rogers. And the Baseball Heroes milestone card. Five packs left. The odds are dwindling down. Hall of Famer Craig Biggio, I'll take that. No, it's his, what, his third or fourth year card. Dave Henderson, Jack Armstrong, Mark Grant, Doug Drabeck. Come on, Dwayne Ward, Greg Blosser, prospect card. The freaking Yankees. And a Ramon Martinez. Hi right, guys. Matt Williams, he was a beast. Sid Bream, Kelly Gruber, checklist.
Steve Howard, Reardon, Paul, us, us, Barry Jones. Oh my God, that freaking card again. And the National League. I'm starting to get annoyed with the same. I mean, who gives a crap about the stickers? I just get the same stickers over and over. Last three packs, guys. Greg Jeffries. Kevin Mass. Deion James. Mark Linky. Roy Smith. Chuck Knobloch. Kurt Miller Prospect. Frickin' American League sticker, Jeff King. Ooh. Nervous. Let's see Jose Canseco. Sean Dunstan. Randy Johnson, man. God, what a... Amazing player. What an amazing pitcher. Bill Dorn, Jose Rios, John O'Brien, Greg Harris, Anderson, Mike Lieberthal, top prospect. Uh oh. All right, sorry about that, guys. My work phone was ringing. Minnesota Twins. And Baseball Heroes. 5,000 career strikeouts. This is it right here. Is it going to be in here? Do I even open this? Hell yes, I'm going to open it. But, I mean, come on. Let's open up all these packs. Spend all this money. Come on. Barry Bonds. First just card of his we've seen. We, there is the insert, but... <sighs> Steve Fry, Dave Parker, Johnson, Willie Randolph, Ken Howe, Hamilton, Aguilera, Dave Stanton. Does not look like we're going to get it, guys. A freaking Yankees hologram. Well. Got a shut out of the Jordan short front. That's okay. Just kind of go back through. I mean, we still pulled a couple of nice cards. Just go back through the notable cards that we pulled. Randy Johnson, Jose Caseco, Barry Bonds. There's going to be quite a few of these. Baseball hero, baseball hero. Luis Gonzalez, maybe a second year card. I need to look. John Smoltz, baseball hero. Let me get this sleeved up. The Chipper Jones prospect card. You know, I mean, when it, in its own right, if that was to grade high enough, you know, it's I'd have to look. But I mean, his his cards are on the rise, and I think rightfully so, they're on the rise. So the Chipper Jones, the Frank Thomas, which I believe is his rookie. Baseball heroes, baseball heroes, baseball heroes. None of them autographed. Uh, Bernie Williams. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna get all these sleeved up. The Bernie Williams, especially uh, the Barry Bonds. Nolan Ryan, another Barry. Baseball heroes, another Bernie Williams rookie. Cal Ripken and Nolan Ryan. So all in all, I mean, I'm happy 
happy with the box. It was as advertised, which is rare. You know, and maybe maybe not, maybe it's unfair, but it always kind of freaks me out to to buy stuff like that off eBay, honestly, or um you know, I have a Facebook group, but this was as advertised. Pulled it a couple of nice cards, so can't complain about that. Um, you know, Barney Williams, obviously one of the greats to play the game. Hopefully his stuff will be on the rise. I have quite a few of his rookie cards. I'm almost positive that's a Frank Thomas rookie. Just not, he just wasn't classified as a star rookie. And those are the ones back in the day, back in 91, that got the rookie designation on them. Um, this one has a little corner issue going on there, but it's okay. All right, so got these ones sleeved up. Got the Barney times two, the Frank Thomas, and the Chipper Jones. So all in all, happy with it obviously a little disappointed i didn't pull the jordan but you know is what it is i'll just have to keep chasing it all right guys hey don't forget i think we're at 80 81 subscribers so we're getting we're getting closer and closer to that 100 subscriber giveaway i look forward to doing that um and i really appreciate all the all the support guys it, you know this is a lot of fun doing this for me and getting to interact with you guys you know talking to people in the comments and um, I've had a few people jump into the Facebook buy, sell, and trade group. So that link will be down below also. Check that out. Just to try, try to build a, a, a group, just a good place for you know people to go and engage in the hobby and talk to each other and buy and sell some cards, trade some cards without all the drama that comes along with it. Um, so check that out for sure. Um, hit the like and subscribe button, guys. That Hitting that like button, that thumbs up button really helps these videos. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.